Hey, Sycamore, it's Miss Kelsey, and I'm going to read chapter 36, The Fifteenth Woe. Billy threw back his head, lowered the worm. Alan charged around the door, leaped on Billy's back, flung him to the ground, punching, yelling, jumped up, grabbed Billy's feet, dragged him bump, bump, bump across the rough, chaffy floor to the tool closet, bundled, in, bundled him inside, slammed the door, and locked it. Silence. Water trickling through the trough outside, Alan panting. What are you going to do with him? Joe asked, hoarsely from the doorway. If he's in the closet, he can eat the worm. Can't eat the worm, can he? You're crazy. He'll start to yell. His parents will hear him. Yeah, yeah. Alan's hair was mussed. His shirt tail hung out. Yeah, said Joe, eyeing him. He will. He'll start to yell and his parents will hear him. Alan's glance wildly about. Started toward the door. Turned. Not if we put him down the cistern. The cistern? Joe wiped his mouth. Alan, cut it out. It's only $50. Come on, face it. You've lost. You can't put Billy down in that cistern all by himself. Suppose there's water in it. It's 15 deep. We can lower him down with a rope. Bang, 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 bang. Billy was kicking the tool closet door. Let me out. Help, let me out. It's cheating. Help. I want to get out. I want to get out. I want to get out. Bang, 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 bang. He chanted rhythmically, kicking the door with both feet in time with his chant. Alan ran across the barn and grabbing hold of a beam, skidded to a stop, began to kick aside the hay and trash that littered the planks over this old cistern. Bang, 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 bang. I want to get out. I want to get out. I want to get out. Come on, Alan yelled at Joe. Help me. We were all down in it last year. How's it going to hurt him? Come on. It'll work. I'll split it with you. Get some rope. Bang, bang, bang. I want to get out. I... And that's the end of chapter 36. Hope you enjoyed reading.